It was a game of cat and mouse outside court. Pandemonial ensued as protesters pelted police with stones. Police retaliated, firing stun grenades to disperse the angry crowd. That's why people were not good, were not feeling happy. Uh, as well, yeah, we need to, we need that, that was to rot in jail. No bail, please, no bail, no bail, please, rest in jail, please. Inside court, all five accused pleaded not guilty. They are facing two counts of murder, attempted murder, defeating the ends of justice and kidnapping. According to accused number one, Daniel Malan, accused number two, Cornelius Hailing, sent a message to farmers in the area that a group of men are stopping farm workers from working. A scuffle ensued when Hailing isolated one of the men from the group. Hailing alleges that he fired two warning shots. The state insists that the murder were premeditated as all accused came to the scene armed. The way the court is handling this case, we are not happy because the accused, the statement that they are putting in the court is not a true statement that they must go back into the community. So because even now the community are so scared for them because the white farmers, while are on the farm, they are working with the firearms. How can you speak with a person that has been killing the workers right on the premises of the firearm? Even this thing that the people they are saying that people they were having a gathering, people they were going to ask, only few people they were going to ask why they bring people that are outside of the farm. Because the Zenzele was taken from the work and coming down to the farm. Everything that they are saying is not true. Avidavity of the other three accused, authored Klingberg, Michael Stenberg, and Zenze Leyende will be heard on Tuesday. The Koga brothers were laid to rest over the weekend. Dumala Macho, SABC News, Mukondo.